Hello and welcome to Animals Labs. Today we are back with a slightly old game that we haven't seen on the channel for a while, which is Incarnate. It's now on its pre beta alpha, I guess is how you would say it, but it's massively updated as you can see from the graphics uh, behind you. Um, we have a new look, new options, new places to play. And I'll be doing a few more videos over the course of the next week to, to two weeks. I thought the big one we, we now have is a boss that we're going to fight. I thought we would go through, have a look at uh, the, their name is Bogoth. And uh, what the boss mechanics are, any tips and tricks I've learned over the course. And then I'll show you a normal run. And how I've gone about when beating this individual. So you can play the boss on four different modes. Easy, normal, hard and insane. They are obviously difficulties, as you can imagine. Easy is not too bad. You can probably do easy with level 10 or so champions. If you have the right abilities. Normal can be done. Kind of 30 ish champions. Hard, you need 50, and insane needs a very good team. Probably all 60s. So I'm going to do normal. I've beaten it before with this team. I'll just go through and show you how I went about it, and we'll give you an idea of what's going on. Got some amazing visuals. This is Vogoff here. He begins. It's the same every single time. Um, you can see very beautiful visuals of a very interesting zombie looking head there welds a hammer um, and he's got a few different mechanics and just get to the board get the board back up um so uh, he, he has this bar along here uh, poison the well attacks all units within range three and push them back four spaces. So his his basic um, template is these four squares. So you can attack like in a three or three, and it'll push you back four squares, and he pushes you back in the angles. Uh, tainted crack, which is the ability that he's done to begin with, uh, attacks all enemies and pull them forward three spaces. So you can see we start one, two, three spaces from the front of the board, and he always goes first, which this actually isn't a bad thing potentially. Um, also cracks the ground until Fisher Bane is used. So this is the crack, and you can see it's a purple line on the on the terrain. This is where he's going to do Fisher Bane, which is the next one we'll look at. Attacks all units on the crack ground. So in this purple AOE, lower the crack ground to the lowest depth. And also damage and burn enemies in the area one of the bane pool. So uh, when this gets dropped to, um, we'll go into that in a minute. But when we get this as a passive effect, when it's dropped to lowest ground, they they do damage, and that damage happens one square outside of this. Secret views. So this is his last ability. Create bane zombies in random bane pools. Bane zombies push targets when attacking, and also damage and burn all enemy units on death. Um, they will appear in here and I'll show you them when they come up. Bane pulse, spaces at maximum depth. Depth have a field that applies burn, so they have like an effect on them. Um, Bane zombies when the attack in the heights ignore attack penalties with moving and attacking and have 50% attack. Long and short is you don't want to be inside these pools. Acid burn. Vogel's burn effects do not spread, but they permanently reduce max HP, so you can't heal through them. Uh, but he's taking the first turn, and then we have the next turn. What I'm going to do is, this is the strategy. We can see this is where he's going to crack. He normally tends to crack randomly along the middle. I'm going to try and hug this top corner up here. And that's where I found to be most effective in my particular strategies. And I have just some, like a general damage dealing kind of semi-mobile character I'm going to put 
don't think we've got anything in range right now so we're not going to bother we'll enter um this is like a healer kind of tank character pull him up as far as we can again we're not quite in range or we are in range with restitution so let's do that and we'll heal ourselves a little bit restitution is an amazing ability in this fight because it's a sustained fight more than anything let's get this up so um and then gonna use like a seeker which is just a buff give my guys some move increase speed and take an extra turn i'm going to come up here and begin chipping down on the boss probably just going to use some hunger we see we've done a little bit of damage and he punched us back down here which is all well and good um i come up to here Enthrall. we're going to red tape so this is a week or and he only takes when you click on him he takes one set of buffs you can't stack weak you can't stack poison or burn on him you'll only ever have a maximum of one so that you can't like stack five burns on him and just watch him chip down but weak as you can see is less attack range presence of 50 percent attack so we do we take a little less damage from that ability uh, we now have our judge and we'll move up with the judge now uh, he's used his ability so his next one is going to be fisher bane so there's no point using bastion we'll just go with restitution again so from below we did a little bit of damage he cracks the earth now it's our turn here let's come up to this square we will use uh, Barbican, which is regen and brave. Um, so he took a burn stack on there. So you see, he took five percent health. It's, burn is always good on the boss, but you can only put one of them on there. He's immobilized. That doesn't really do anything. Um, and you, now you can see these are the zombies in the pools, and this this like acid burn effect. If you're standing on any of these. You're going to take uh, like burn five percent of your health which doesn't regen and these guys can come and attack you and then start pushing you around so we've got here we could do probably move to and we need to make sure that we're facing the right right way just click off let's come here and go for roll we get um the cliff on the boss now let me click on the boss now he's now got oh he looks like he's immune to bleed which is an interesting thing to know let's get this guy up here put bastion on so we've got some more range regen up keep chipping him down with damages you know do his I believe it's his attack he's going to pull us all in close and put down another cracked ground so now when we when we come around to this next turn we can see this cracked ground here this is going to go down here but it means when if he uses his push we're going to end up in that ground so we need to reposition accordingly we'll use just our general aoe um, and move out of the way of that some reason we've got a second turn I don't quite know why that's happened um i'm not going to use descent because uh there's no we, he's always going to be higher than us so it's no good there we'll just chip damage on him we're going to move back out of the way though so that we can pull our other guys in here the zombies go they start running towards us crack the ground we use hunger again and it's a bit of a sustained fight it's not like straight up there's a little bit of rng to it punches us puts defense down on us we'll go in for red tape put his attack down and i think we'll probably move here now restitution is always the best ability when it's up because if we have it because it will heal through and it's pretty much it now you see the zombies move 
we'll go for seeker just because it increases our speed and it takes an extra turn so it doesn't cost anything we end the turn we'll go for barbican again just to get some burns on him we've got weak we immobilize we end the turn he takes five percent of his damage summons yet more zombies um what have we got here let's try this again takes a little bit of damage from that not much restitution see because we're below we're not taking as much i should have actually moved up here so i will um gonna push us in so one of our one of our guys is in the ah so we got raised by his effect so you see there's no light on here if you ever have an ability that can raise the enemy this is an amazing time to do it cast hunger on him and we'll try and get out of dodge somebody's going to come up he's going to punch us we should have our let's do this again put that damage on move out of the way do it again you see we level up the terrain a bit which means that we're not taking those effects so we can keep our team safe so if he gets pushed now this is a problem but we're in a little bit safer spot let's put bastion on so we've got some counter attacks get up to the top of this hill so that we can hide if we're close enough we'll put speaker on and run away so I'm just hugging this wall as I said I was going to. You could have done it here, but the problem is if he starts knocking us down into here, we're in a little bit of trouble. Let's come. So you could you can actually change the way you move. If I move here and then here, I'll be facing the correct way. I'll put red tape up again. You know, push my my guy closer to the front. That's actually a bonus. Uh, he then got to because of this already pushed me into the aura, and we got to counter attack. We'll take some of that. Makes a load more zombies. Never a fun time. Whatever. So we move into position. We'll then hunger. We have to stay just on the edge of this corner because we can't quite attack, which is a shame. But we got pulled in close. Let's give him bit of damage and then move away and then a bit more damage that's very little damage this uh, ability to him put this on move out of the way again look at all these zombies building up so one of the main things that you'd need is some way to deal with all of the zombies this is this is why we have our He's not doing a lot of damage to a boss, but our um, Archon is doing huge amounts of AOE kind of crowd control. That's what we always go Seeker, we want that extra speed. We'll end turn, we'll go for the Barbican, because we want defense up and burn on the boss. And we'll run away. Watch these zombies come in now. So we'll use the damage, and you should be able to see take a little bit more there and we'll run away too we'll just do them it's doing very little damage like 800 damage but it's it's mostly about the terrain control and the damage it's doing to the minions now you see we were up on this point we didn't do as we did an increased amount of damage to this enemy so he takes a load of damage from burn Keep chipping away with our abilities. A weak, yeah. So we need to move closer to get red tape in. Get red tape out. We, attack down is a really strong ability. Presence down means they have actually like less AOE effects. Um, let's go with Bastion just in case. It's a, one of our strongest abilities. And attack us and push. See the heals we got from the damage that we did with our AOE because of um because this one Woo. 
So because we have, um, we had, what was it? Probably not up. Moment. Lost it, but we had seeker up, so we could, whenever we did damage, we would get health back. And there we go. He is being again three rewards, thirty six turns. Not too, not too fast for time, but you get the idea. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to me on my YouTube channel. Um, I ask that you like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.